And uh, like I said, man, we give all glory to the most high Yah. You know, initially, you know, if you were to ask people, they would have said, yeah, man, that's that would be a booming business if you go seven days a week. But, you know, we pride ourselves on uh, keeping the Sabbath, keeping the Shabbat, keeping it holy. So we are closed on the Sabbath. Some people would say, hey, you're missing out on money. But one thing we're not willing to play with or risk is losing our salvation. Salon, salon. Man, one thing that sets our dog boarding and daycare, you know, facility apart, especially here in our town and surrounding areas, you know, all praise to the most high Yah is that we take the breeds that most places won't take. So you look at uh, breeds like Presa Canarios, uh, Cane Corsos, a lot of boarding facilities won't take them uh, because of their stereotype and uh here we have this big boy well over uh 120 pounds 140 pounds this is saint okay and then uh then over here we got uh we have karma but uh all praise to the most high y'all because we have staken our claim to the dog board and daycare business by taking you know the pit bulls and stuff like that and they're just uh, understood you know I've had I've had more fight um, with dogs that are commonly known and more attitude and temperament problems uh, out of dogs that you wouldn't think than I do these big dogs and um, these big dogs you know if you have a dominant spirit as far as you know not being passive towards them they're pretty easy uh, to manage but a lot of places as soon as you tell them the size of the dog and what breed it is these people are saying oh good god almighty we don't we don't board or, or do daycare for lions and tigers but uh we're one of the you know only only doing this for going on two years now we take uh we take hunting dogs we dogs that um are very anti-social you know we don't have any problems out of it so look at these big jokers right here look at them karma come here come here girl Look, sit, look, sit. Good. Lay down. Lay down. Lay down. Lay down. Down. Let's go. Uh-uh. Paul. Look. Karma. Come here. Sit. Sit. Paul. Give me Paul. Good. Good. Look at that. Look at that. Up. Good. Good. There you go. Real gentle. Look at that. Look at that. Real gentle. And, uh, you know, these big dogs, you know, they take a lot more work. Um, they're a little bit harder on your cages just because of the sheer size and power. And a lot of places don't take them because, um, you know, the little dogs, your Yorkies and stuff like that are a little bit more profitable far as the work, uh, that you have to do. But like I said, man, all praise to the most high y'all because, uh, not only are we uh, Israelite owned, you know, veteran owned, but, you know, we put our stake in the game, got some skin in the game, earned our seat at the table, uh, you know, by pretty much doing what the other places don't do. And we're not the cheapest in town. We're not the most expensive, but we're right in the middle. And, uh, you know, that's just a testament, man, because the most high Yah you know, allowed us to be able to do this, allowed us to be able to set the facility up uh, debt free. You know, a lot of the labor, like you see these little these little um, wire pinwheels, man, we got those from our local electric company and they was giving those away for free. You know, if you go back to the beginning of the channel, uh, I have my turbo Honda CRX. Well, I had these tires sitting around and um, these are the original OEM tires, you know, that was on that car and uh, we just put them to use, man. And, uh, you know, a lot of these fence posts, my sons helped me dig and plant all of these doggone uh, fence posts in the ground and concrete them in. So, you know, all praise to the most high. We got uh, for water, 
we have that black tote right there, which is a, uh, it's a 265 gallon IBC tote, you know, and uh, we got one of those inside. But yeah, man, it, it's not hard. And uh, like I said, man, we give all glory to the most high Yah. you know, uh, initially, you know, if you would have asked people, they would have said, yeah, man, that's, that would be a booming business if you go seven days a week. But, you know, we pride ourselves on uh, keeping the Sabbath, keeping the Shabbat, keeping it holy. So we are closed on the Sabbath. And, um, you know, uh, some people would say, hey, you're missing out on money. But one thing we're not willing to play with or risk is losing our salvation. So, yeah, you know, we get people all the time that call and, and say, hey, man, that, that that sucks, man, because I really need to drop off my dog and I'll pay any kind of money uh, if we can do it on, on, on Saturday. And I have to tell you, man, uh, and I have to tell you, you know, we don't budge from that. You know, people could offer a million, million dollars, billion dollars. We just simply ain't doing it. And, um, you know, that is a true testament to not only keeping Torah, keeping the commandments, the laws, statutes, and precepts, but the Most High Yah has blessed our business from the time that we opened. From the very time that we opened, before we even had all the kennels up, people was calling, man, you know, when it comes to, uh, when it comes to marketing and advertising, we haven't had to pay an exorbitant amount of money or any money at all because uh, our reputation pretty much is known in the community. And um, like I said, we're top when you pop up on Google and we give all praise to the most high, you know, for just allowing us this opportunity uh, to set our family free. And a lot of people don't know, man, I'm three years out from retirement in the military, but that doesn't mean that I'm going to stop working. So this amongst um, this amongst other ventures, you know, we got going and uh, that's the game plan. But yeah, man, just wanted to share that with you. Uh, this video will be up under my uh, uh, dog boarding and daycare business playlist, so you can check that out. Check out other videos, and then, uh, yeah, man, stay encouraged. Hope you guys have a blessed rest of your day and a blessed week. Closer to Yah Ministries, kicking that thing gun barrel straight.